Thomas Jefferson. As the New York Times put it, the schools had been identified by a panel of community leaders requiring name changes because they honored historical figures who inhibited societal progress, oppressed women, or had slaves. Joining us now, Jason Hill, professor of philosophy at DePaul University, writes extensively about these issues. Uh, professor, good to see you. All right, so they got the Robert E. Lee statue down. It had been the site of a lot of vandalism and the like over the past couple of years. Uh, they got that down. What are they going to go after next? Well, the irony is that last year they went after the 54th uh, Boston Regiment, Massachusetts Regiment, which was the largest contingency of, of, of all black um, union fighters. They went after David Farragut and they went after Matthias Baldwin, all of them white, um, black, white abolitionists. Um, what they're going to do is go after um, the United States. They're going, to, they, they're going to cancel this country, which is what this cancel culture is about. They're a bunch of Social. You don't think it's not, it's not really about Robert E. Lee, it's no. about something deeper. No, it's something much deeper. We shouldn't pay attention to the least attractive figures who they're taking down, because as I said last year, they took down abolitionists and they took down black freedom fighters during the Civil War. Uh, one of my students said to me quite recently when I said, how is this going to end? She said, not well. She said, it's a, it's a, we're, she said yes, we're, we're moral eugenicists, and we're going to obliterate and cancel the United States of America. What, what they're doing is they're going to cancel history completely, which is how all totalitarian socialist movements have started. Now, it, ISIS, ISIS did it. The Nazis did it. The uh, Taliban is, did it. Yeah, good point. And they're doing it right now uh, once again. This, this sort of caught our mind. Just north of Richmond, obviously Washington, D.C., outside of Washington, D.C., Arlington, Arlington National Cemetery, was Robert E. Lee's home uh, until the government took it to turn it into a national cemetery. We have some video of it. It's still up on the National Park Service website, Lee's house. Uh, this is video of the cemetery. We have video of the house uh, at some point. But they're still selling tickets. The federal government is selling tickets to tour the home of the guy that everybody took the statue down of. Well, so are you asking me what's, what's next in terms of well, I guess the, the I guess the question would be sort of, if Robert E. Lee is so bad, mm. why is the house still allowed to stand on some of America's most sacred ground, much less tickets being sold? America is a repository of, of varied historical stories, some of them magnificent and some of them not so good. And you just, you cannot, the thing about cancel culture is that they take it upon themselves to operate with that kind of moral infallibility. They take it upon themselves to decide which stories are going to be verboten and forbidden and which stories are going to be permissible. Yeah. Right. And history doesn't work that way. And I think my, I must say that the statue and the house of, of Lee is a great testimony to how far we have made moral progress today in this world. Yeah, well, it's, it certainly does give you a touchstone to a time past. Professor, always good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the insight. All right. Well, from a professor to folks getting a college degree, it's long been seen as one of the surest paths to fulfilling the American dream. But that may be changing amid increased scrutiny over drawbacks, like the cost of a student degree, the weight of student debt. 